Grade 7 math number 5.3, real world percentages. We're going to apply real world percents. Finding total cost. Sales tax, which is the tax on the sale of an item or a service, is a percent of the purchase price that is collected by the seller on behalf of the state or the county. It's a state or county tax. And to find the sales tax, we just multiply the percentage in decimal form by the price of the item. And we add the two amounts together. It's just like we did with the percent increase video. So if we have a $22 shirt and it's got an 8% sales tax, 8% is 0 0.08. We multiply the $22 times 0 0.08. We do our multiplication addition. And there's four decimal places in the equation. So there's four decimal places in the product. And we get $1.76, $1.76. We add that to the price of the shirt. And the total of the shirt is now $23.76. See? And then the owner of the store sends that to the state or the county. It's the same as finding a percent increase like we did in video number 5.1a for 7th grade math. Okay? For grade 7 math. Finding simple interest. Well, interest is paid to us for keeping money in a bank account, or it could be money we have to pay for borrowing money or using a credit card. Principal is the amount of money deposited or borrowed. That's the big chunk of money. And then the interest is based off of the principal. Simple interest is a fixed, unchanging percent of the principal. Some interest rates go up or down. Simple interest just stays the same. So here's our problem. Tala deposited $200 into a bank account that earns 3% simple interest annually. That's each year. What is the total amount in the account after two years? So this is a two-part problem because the first thing we need to do is figure out the first year and then find out the total and then figure out the second year. So the first year is the $200 times 3% and 3% is 0 0.03 in decimal form. We do our $200 times the 0 0.03 and we get $6, okay? We add the 200 plus the $6, and we know after the first year it's $206. Now, that is the number, the 206 is what we're going to base the second year on. So we need to multiply that, 206, by 0 0.03 for the second year. And we do. We come up with $6.18 now. We add that to the 206, and now there's $212.18 in the account after two years. See? Sometimes we use multiple percents. Sometimes we have to apply more than 1% to a problem. When we eat at a restaurant, the tip, usually 15% for good service, is based on the amount before tax is added. Well, some people tip on the amount with the tax added. So how much is the total spent on a $60 restaurant bill with a 15% tip and 7% sales tax? So 15% is 0.15. We multiply the $60 times the 0.15 and we get $9. So the tip is $9. Now to do the sales tax, we start back at the $60 again because we don't tip. We don't add the tax to the tip, do we? So the bill is $60. We multiply it by 0 0.07 and we come up with $4.20. And we add the $4.20 to the $60, the original bill, and we get $64.20. Now we add the tip to that, the $9. So our total spent is $73.20. So see, we had to start with the same amount each time. See that? And then we added them together at the end. All right? So sometimes you're going to end up having to figure out several percentages for one problem. Just make sure uh, to keep them separate or to add them together as you need to, okay? If you want to support Joanne's School, you can go to patreon.com and become a monthly supporter for a dollar a month. I'd really appreciate it. I hope my videos are helping you, and you can help me in return. I'll see you next video. Bye.